oxygen runs what what is it out twice of what the passengers is for flow rate yeah I can't remember the CFM but it's the pilot is twice well my partner at the time the dude weighed over 400 pounds so him on half the rate of oxygen I was on did not work well for him he was struggling so we switched nose cannulas and I'm running on half and he's running on full in the meantime, both our wives are back there. No, we don't need them. We don't want to put those silly things on our head. You know, they're going to mess up our hair. <laughs> so they're running back there and they're giggling. They're just getting goofy as all get out back there. You can hear them. They're just going to town. Well, we're coming down into Chicago and we get below about 10,000 feet and all of a sudden they're getting really quiet. Well, by the time we got to the ground, they had such a bad hangover, it wasn't even funny, right? Hy hypoxia is going to do what? It's going to make you act like you're drunk. If you're belligerent when you're a drunk, you're going to be belligerent when you're deprived of oxygen. If you are um, a happy drunk, you're going to be a happy, you know, you sleepy, whatever. It's going to be the same effect. It's depriving your brain of oxygen just like alcohol. And this is what they were doing. They were just giddy as can be. And by the time they got down, they had a hangover. They had such bad headaches. They were like, what's going on? I said, next time I tell you to use oxygen, you use oxygen. Because what is the part 91 oxygen rule? 12.5 and above over 30 minutes. Yep. 12.5 and above over 30 minutes, the pilot has to use it. Anything over 14. Anything over 14, the pilot has to use it. And the, pilots, the passenger's got to be provided at 15. Provided at 15, they do not have to use it. That is not a requirement. They just have to be provided. They were provided, but they refused to use it. And like I said, by the time they got down, they felt like crap. So you start flying with a higher altitude airplane, use the oxygen. Get on it. Um, recently, fairly recently, there is the president of the TBM Owners Association crashed. He had his brand new 900, he and his wife. Dude had a lot of time in the, in the TBM. And he was flying over the Atlantic Ocean, eastern seaboard, heading north from, I believe it was Florida, heading up to the, the uh, New England states somewhere. And ran into some problems where, for some reason, he lost pressurization. So he calls for lower, they give him 220. He went down to 220. He did not call for an emergency. For some reason, he did not don the emergency mask. Right now, both he and his wife are dead. They crashed into the ocean because they did not follow procedure and put that mask on. Payne Stewart, remember that one? Okay, you all remember Payne Stewart? Yeah. Huge golfer, right? Sure he and then his entourage coming in in the Learjet, the Fargo National Guard was called out with their F-16s to chase him in. Because if he was, if it looked like his tra trajectory was going to crash into a city, they were gonna have to shoot him down. I talked to the pilots and they was sick to think about it. But they got up there, jet was on autopilot, windows were all frosted over, they had a rapid decompression, everybody on board was dead from oxygen, oxygen deprivation. Again, you know, know what you're doing with that stuff, have your quick dog masks. Some of these TDMs, the, the uh, older ones, the A models, the masks are, are not quick dog. There's a door underneath the seat on the passenger side that you have to figure out how to unlatch and then get these things and turn the oxygen on. Bad situation. I do not want to fly high in those airplanes. The newer ones, they all have the quick on masks. So I grab it, push the button, 
it pops out of the holder, the headband expands from the air. You know, you rip off your headsets, pop it on, release it, the headband you know, uh, retracts back onto your head, and you have a full flow of oxygen. So.